This is a reminder. This is for informational purposes only. Take this information to your healthcare provider and let your healthcare provider decide what is going to be the best course of action. Uh, also important to remind all of you that we are not making any medical recommendations. We are not suggesting that our products can be used to treat or cure any type of different health condition. Again, this information is for informational purposes only. Our patch products and our aromatherapy mists are general wellness products. So let's start uh, by talking about something that is going to affect uh, at least over 70% of the population and affects everyone at some time. How would you help someone that is in pain? So let's talk about the definition of what pain is. And what's interesting is that we can compare the Western and Eastern definitions and they describe exactly the same phenomena. So with a Western definition, uh, Western medicine, we might say that the tissue has been damaged and this results in a change of tissue conductivity. There's an imbalance in electrolytes. There's an increase in oxidative stress and inflammatory markers. And as a result, we get a blockage in the ability of the nervous system to create proper signaling, and the brain interprets this as pain. Okay, when we describe pain from the perspective of Eastern medicine, it's also, of course, related to a damage of tissue, uh, but this is described as a blockage to the flow of chi or life energy. So we're really talking about the same thing here is that something in the body changes, so energy cannot flow freely, and the body interprets this as pain. And this is a good thing, because if the tissue is damaged, we don't want to continue uh, to damage it even further and uh, create further problems. So the solution then becomes self-evident. We don't want to try to cover up the pain, uh, we don't want an analgesic, not that they're not useful in emergencies, but we don't want to live off of taking drugs on a regular basis. So the solution then is we need to restore the proper flow of energy. This is going to mean that we need to normalize tissue conductivity. So we're going to talk about how to do that. We also want to manage the inflammatory process. As part of stem cell activity in the body, we need inflammation. It attracts stem cells to damage tissue. But if someone is dealing with chronic pain, uh, they've got too much inflammation in their body. We've got to get it under control. Again, in chronic pain, uh, there could be a compromised immune system response. Also, something very, very important that should not be overlooked is proper hydration. Many times, uh, especially as people get older, it's a reduction in hydration that can lead to increases in pain. We can't make energy without water. We can't detoxify without water. Dead tissue will accumulate without proper hydration. So do not overlook proper hydration when it comes to pain relief. All right, so where would we start uh, in relieving pain? It's actually extraordinarily simple. From the perspective of using the patches, you can start with X39 either on the back of the neck or below the belly button and then an Eon patch at the point of pain. Now, many people will get pain relief just with X39. If it's a chronic injury though, they've had it for a long time, I'd recommend putting an Eon patch at the point of pain. They may start feeling results within seconds, within two to three minutes, 
and uh, some very dramatic improvements within about 20 minutes. We know this from our clinical studies. Another uh, way that we can manage the inflammatory response for better pain reduction is with glutathione. When we elevate glutathione, not only will it detoxify the body, but uh, glutathione as an antioxidant will help to reduce inflammatory markers in the body. So if we have a condition like Parkinson's disease, which is associated with reduced glutathione levels or Alzheimer's or MS. Elevating glutathione can help to reduce uh, pain. Now, we're not claiming that glutathione is used to treat those diseases. What we're talking about is using X39 and glutathione to manage inflammation. Ice Wave, of course, was our very first pain relief product. I recommend you put Ice Wave on the bottom of the feet. Uh, or you can follow the instructions, uh, put it around the point of pain, use the clock method. We're not going to get into those details here. So again, let's say that you're experiencing pain. Um, you have someone that you're working with. I would definitely give them a glass of clean water, make sure they're properly hydrated, and also a regular program of electrolytes. So if you've got uh, a chronic pain, not an acute pain uh, from you know banging your knee or elbow, um, if you have a chronic pain, I would definitely recommend uh, taking regular supplementation of potassium and magnesium. Potassium as a powder, uh, 1,000 milligrams a day. Magnesium, uh, 200, 400 milligrams or more per day and uh, magnesium three and eight or magnesium taurate are excellent forms of magnesium, especially when it comes to pain relief. Interesting thing about copper. Uh, we always recommend copper because uh, X39 elevates copper peptide. So you wanna have copper in the body and you can get copper from eating liver, from drinking uh, wheatgrass, uh, from consuming dark chocolate, lots of great sources of natural copper, seafood. Um, but anyway, what has been shown in clinical studies is that people with elevated levels of copper tolerate pain better. Interesting that copper bracelets have been known to be a pain reliever. The Romans used to put water into copper bowls and find, found that it killed infections and was a great pain reliever. People tolerate pain better with elevated levels of copper. Uh, NAC is N-acetylcysteine. It's an amino acid, and it is a precursor to glutathione, uh, as well as other things. So if you are a vegan or a vegetarian, you may not be getting enough <clears throat> NAC. I'd recommend you take that to support your glutathione levels. Also, uh, taking NAC is a very powerful antiviral. We'll talk about that in a few minutes as well. Curcumin is a natural pain reliever, natural anti-inflammatory. So if you're uh, suffering with chronic pain, uh, this is an option that you have, taking a curcumin supplement. Olive oil is remarkable. Olive oil... Um, could very well be the reason why the Mediterranean diet has so many of the benefits that it does. People that live after 100 uh, have been known to consume olive oil on a regular basis, and now it's known why. Olive oil is a powerful gene modulator, resets genes to a more youthful state, and uh, may in fact do that even better than resveratrol. Olive oil is rich in monounsaturated fats, so it's a natural anti-inflammatory. Nitric oxide, we're going to talk about a little bit later about how to elevate that. But interesting, in the Nobel Prize winning work on nitric oxide, it was found that it can reduce pain. It's a very powerful signaling molecule. Uh, things like the combination of garlic and vitamin C will triple 
nitric oxide levels. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's a number of good reasons why you'd want to elevate nitric oxide and improve circulation. But in this case, uh, you could use it as a part of an overall pain management program. By far, though, the most rapid relief you're going to get with pain relief is with the patches, bar none. Uh, nothing else here will reduce pain faster. These are all things that you have options on including in your life uh, that will support pain relief.